North 272. We're putting together an in-depth documentary about you and your brief chance to stop the evil path of subversion and your time in captivity at their hideout and how this affects you on What? We'll be filming and listening to you at all times with hidden cameras and mics. Please try to act. Hey, guy, I appreciate the attention, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Thanks and all. Maybe another day. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry. Paul didn't tell you. Oh, he's commissioned this one. He wants some footage to show the population what a dangerous job you norm guys do. He said you were a perfect example of how police action can, can, can really screw you up. Okay, I guess you should get on with it. I'll try to be as natural as possible. If I do anything weird, it's probably the after effects of my trauma. I was deeply affected. Thank you for your cooperation. Just pretend I'm not here. Be yourself, please. Your comfort is our pleasure. A small black electronic box. That's the data recording unit. Incredible piece of wizardry. It's a bag full of what appears to be miniature cameras and microphones. They're all black and shiny, like little dog's noses. More buttons in a pearly king's best suit. This must be mission control. That's right, Norm. With this baby, I can record your every move and sound. Don't worry, we won't miss a damn thing. Just try to act naturally, will you? Wall. I'm not hungry right now. This must be where the Norms choose a fat and brag about the size of their children. I'll leave it right where it is. What? I don't need a waste container. The buzzing nerve center of this smooth operation. Lots of paperwork and paper clips. How can a pin board be out of order? Death duo. Strange. I always thought it was the dynamic duo. The last letter is a zero instead of an O. Got it. There's more paper underneath. I think it serves more purpose where it is. Fairly straightforward, I think. It's the layout of this floor. This appears to be a layout of zoom tubes. Complicated stuff. Okay, it's moved position now. That didn't have much effect. Well, exactly none to be more specific. Oh, that doesn't look like standard practice. I can't continue while he can still see. Okay, it's moved position now. That didn't have much effect. Well, exactly none to be more specific. I can't open it. Just a normal wash basin, but from my experience, unusually clean. Hand dryers, kind of noisy but hygienic. They also dry up your eyeballs. Oh, 
That doesn't look like standard practice. I can't continue while he can still see. game. Besides, I'm not thirsty. I have no time for that. Okay. to bug me. Okay, it's moved position now. Hmm, I think I forgot to do something. Hey, slow down. We've plenty of time. Why? Why a film crew now when I need some privacy? trouble me again. I'd rather not even try to. Insanity isn't contagious, but that doesn't stop it being inflicted upon others. Twisting 
knobs and pushing buttons. Even a rabid chimp could do it. Well, hold it right there. It takes more than ten years to learn how to operate this console, and you have never seen one before, have you? So if you stick to your tasks, I'll stick to mine. Just pretend I'm not here. What? You think I should add to this already monstrous clutter? Hey, slow down! I'm... Why? Why a film crew now when I need some privacy? U D U D U two. I wonder what it means. I have it. now. Hmm, I think I forgot to do something. I can't from down here. Yeah, I can just reach it. It's a little bug, $1,000 worth of trouble. I should destroy it. Just be natural. Why? Why a film crew now when I need some privacy? Cry, you unwanted technological trinket. I think that will trouble me again. You unwanted technological trinket. I don't think that will trouble me again. Didn't have much effect. 
well exactly none to be more specific. I can see you. I can't continue while he can still see. What are you doing? No. I can't continue while he can still see. You see, but it's shifting. This guy is beginning to bug me. I think I forgot to do something. Okay, it's moved position now. Got it! It's mine! That will trouble me again. D U U U D two warning. Feature no longer operational. Is this a warning to do? U D U D U two. What it means. Okay, it's moved position now. Okay, it's moved position now. Hmm, I think I forgot to do something. U D U D U. I wonder what it means. Use only. U D D U D zero. Some freaky norm speak, I guess. Hmm. I think I forgot to do something. Okay, it's moved position now. Hmm. I think I forgot to do something. Okay, it's moved position now. I appear to have sent Saul and a couple of the other inmates to the roof. Judging by that siren, I think I'd better get up there and help. Sorry, Dai. Try not to die. Bless my soul, you've liberated Saul. Welcome back, Kent. You truly are a brave genius. 
I don't think you realize just how difficult that was. I almost got stuck in that misery factory. I see. Where's Guy? I thought he was coming back with you. He kind of met with an accident. I didn't see exactly what happened. He told us to go on without him. No matter. He is our cause's first martyr. We must turn to Saul for our guidance now, while Brian composes our anthem of triumph and loss. Is that what it is? I thought he was washing some pans in a washing machine. No matter. I must continue my work on the gadget you brought here. They are part of the mood magnet. A terrible machine that I am solely responsible for. In what way are you responsible, Saw? I created a terrible machine. A machine which sucks out people's ideas and free will and stores it for later inspection. From what Kent has told me, I would guess there is one of these gizmos in every piece of furniture in the city. People are drained as they sit at work or in front of the TV. The data then goes through one of the mood filters, like the one we were in, Kent. Then it is sent on to the mood magnet proper, a machine too complicated to recreate. If Paul can't make another, where is the original? It is at my secret labs. But your lab has been fragged. The Saul Nistelux Memorial Stadium was built on the still-smoking crater years ago. Just before the great shake-up. Shake-up? When everything in the city changed. Guy knows all about it, bless his soul. Then Paul must have built a bigger and better one. I believe it could be this new stadium you speak about. If Paul has ripped off and built this amazing mind suction device, how come we aren't as dull as the other folks? Luckily, there is one flaw in the magnet's design. A small piece of metal in the body is enough to earth and protect an individual. That is the sole reason we are different. Ah, so that's why Norm 2782 has had such a sudden change in his life. The shrapnel lodged in his brain. It cured him. Like the drill bit that snapped and lodged in my leg during one of my first experiments. That would certainly do the trick. Crude, but very effective. I have an old-fashioned hip replacement. And you, Kent? I have a ball bearing stuck in my ear. Been there since I was able to walk under chairs without banging my head. Kinda makes more Kent sense. So what's our next step? How do we free everyone from your machine? If we break the data link at one of the booster stations, it should weaken the magnet's grip on the populace long enough for them to realize what is going on. Damn my evil twin. It was only to be used in jails. Where do I find a booster station? Give me a clue and I'll knock it out. I'm feeling kind of frisky. There should be a strange noise when you are near one. It sounds a little like this. I'm on it, Saul. 